it's no road, just kind of hanging out on the railroad track. Kind of, you know, about a mile out of town, close to where I can. Um, I was wondering if it could be possible to go to your local cathartic to film a video. I can listen to it like a diary. Just throwing around some feelings, kind of put myself on the couch, so to speak. See if I can reach what I'm really trying to express. And that's what I'm hoping. And I think what I'm trying to express. At least scratching the surface is the closer you get to a new plateau of enlightenment, the more you feel the grind of the company of others. It, it, it grinds on you because it's it seems a little bit like no one's good. It's like you put you have hopes and you really do. You even start questioning yourself too, like am I possibly a narcissist? And you start to think just a little bit like am I crazy am I a narcissist? But then you go through and you're like, look, number one, I might like some attention. I might like to be a little bit of the center of attention, there's no doubt. Maybe because I have past trauma or something. But I genuinely really enjoy when the good things happen for other people. And because I'm concerned, like, could I be the narcissist? I really am concerned and trying to say, wait a minute here, I hope I'm not. Right there tells me I'm not. So when I say something like, the closer I get to a new plateau of enlightenment, the more I feel the grind of the company of others. And it's because I'm really looking for something in someone else that resonates with the enlightenment that I'm beginning to discover in myself. I really do want the best for other people. And if the best for other people is to not be around me, then I want that for them and I wish them well. I don't want to have to lie to somebody just so I can have a place to stay and a little bit of food. I really don't. But what I really deeply want is interpersonal energetic reciprocity. And for once it might be nice if I was kind of uh, appreciated as much as I have appreciated others. And as I, you know, go to higher plateaus of enlightenment, as I said in my other video, you know, you're not going to have complete union with enlightenment while you're communing in a human body. You're not going to have complete union with God while you're communing in a human body. In some aspects, we wear this meat suit like a portable torture chamber. And that really is part of the test. It's part of the trial. I mean, it digs deep. But we're wearing this thing. And we have somehow had our memory wiped. It's deeper than amnesia. But there's more to life than meets the eye. I have seen divine intervention in my life. I know that everything is a miracle wearing the robes of a rational explanation, and I know that there is someone out there that hears me. I know it. But if I don't, you know, 
break new ground with somebody, I mean, at one point, I'm going to just have to say, I can't afford to have any expectations with people anymore, including with this channel. When I, when somebody appreciates me the way I have appreciated others, and they know where I'm coming from and what I'm talking about in this video, I will know it. And if it's somebody that I, I meet on YouTube, if they're honest, and they're real, and they know where I'm coming from, and they leave a comment, I will be able to see it in their comment, how they word it, and so forth. And if I meet somebody, when I say something, I might test somebody. Test them with a compliment, test them with an observation, test them with a, a personal insight, a pearl of wisdom, and I'll know if they catch that or not. I'll know if they respond or resonate or not. But yeah, that's the way I'm feeling right now. At this point, more and more, it's just a grind. Human interaction is just a grind. And what I'm really looking for is, inter is interpersonal energetic reciprocity from a beautiful spiritual standpoint with people that know that there's more to life than meets the eye. Reality as we know it in the physical and paying bills and the stuff that's necessary in the world is a side garnish but you are to make your the main focus of your reality has got to be the spiritual climb to the summits of a spiritual mountain. And it just has to be. And if it's not, then you're just used by God as spoons and utensils and you build the factories, you provide some work and stuff like that, and that's fine and that can be commendable if you're at least a good person, but you know. Anyways, I'm gonna kind of check this off, and I don't want this to go on too long. And I'm not depressed. I'm not. I'm just kind of really going deep. That's it. I'm not depressed. No. Totally different. I'm seeing things as they are, and I'm kind of going deep to really see how it's making me feel as a spiritual being who's walking around in a meat suit that I wear like a portable torture chamber at times, okay? And you all know what I'm talking about with that. You gotta wear a bathroom, you gotta feed, you gotta pay to clothe it, you gotta stay warm, you gotta... We don't have sovereign... We're not sovereign beings. We're not fully. We are so... We're not sovereign beings. There is so much that we have to serve. And, you know, the mind, the mental, the gray matter between our ears is like a... It's like a portable torture chamber, too. But at the same time, it's a communion between the portable torture chamber and the glory. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying it's all a torture chamber. It's, but it's got that aspect to it. And we got to dive deep and sometimes face it. And sometimes it's just a grind, you know, to have human interaction because of lost hope. Because of the goodness in our heart. So anyways, it's not depression, I'm just diving deep. And I know it's a communion between heaven and earth, and it's also a communion between the portable torture chamber, you know, and the glory within. Alright, I'm going to 